few years ago, there was an acquisition, T-Mobile acquired Sprint. The, the FCC, which is the communication regulator in the U.S., in one of those rules, they always insist on having fourth player in the market. When you go to U.S., you will see maybe 150 mobile suppliers, like, but most of them are MVNOs. It's only three big orchestrators that can deliver everything. So the FCC awarded Dish, which was a cable TV provider. Very big, strong business. At that point of time, they were trying to transform into something else because cable TV is dying. It's a cash cow that is leaving the, the place, but they have Spectrum. And that Spectrum is a very, very valuable asset. It's a national asset. It's what's happening around us in the air. Just imagine the air around us is like lanes of different speeds and different waves and different rules, and they can all run in parallel in a very science fiction futuristic way. And that's where your communication is going on. So Dish steps into the game and say, or EchoStar, let's release a new brand. And over the last 15 years, we're gonna be the biggest competitor when it comes to Telcoscape in the US. We're gonna build 5G network and let's be the fourth player that the market needs. And now, a few years along the way, they actually did. This story for me is having two folds. One, I like to classify telco or ICT providers into three. There's the service orchestrators, the ones who have it all. You own the infrastructure, you own the fiber, you own the data center, you own the core, you own satellites if you need, and you have also your teams and you give your services and you might own many brands. And there is the digital service enablers, if I can call it this way. They have most, but they have a blended model and they try to go as lean as possible and focus on digital services. Yes, they were set to fail because the 30 megahertz of 5G at this point of time mean nothing. And now they also mean nothing because now they are slower than what needs to be done. As I looked at their investments portfolio over the last 10 years, they built 15,000 sites, a lot of stores, and they have a lot of retailer channels. You have good pays, but with the same mindset of selling TV. No data centers, no fiber owned, and no gateways to the internet. That is a very strong strategic mistake. Now they are being bailed out by 23 billion from AT&T, the way, whether you call it or not, I will be looking forward to see what they will do with this money.